Hello there. I'm here to show you this, and this is a slide rule, which is what people used before the advent of the modern calculator. Now, some things you should know about slide rules is that they are over 400 years old, so people have been trusting these for since the 1600s. Also, when you're doing things with decimals or pi, they do not provide an a totally accurate answer. They provide an estimate that is good enough to complete your job, but not perfect. For example, you can see the um, you can see pi labeled there. My camera ever focuses there, and um, to this will be a two-part series with the slide rule. And today I'll be showing you how to multiply. In part two, I'll be showing you how to divide. So, if you look closely, the, um, the slide rule has lots of scales on it. A, B, C, the other C, D, and K. So, but today we're only going to be using A and B, and for division we'll only be using those two. So, let's start with something simple, and multiply 2 times 4. So, we're going to take, we're going to find 2 on A, we're going to slide 1 on B, right under where 2 is, and then we're going to use our hairpin to find where 4 is on B. And it is there. And right above 4, you can see that that is 8. So that tells us that 4 times 2 is 8, as we already know, hopefully. Now let's, um, let's try another example. Slide everything back to its beginning position. Let's try 5 times 7. Now this is where it gets interesting. If I move the 1 under the 5 and try to find the 7 but what is this? The scale has repeated it has gone up to 9 and it goes back to 1 through 9 again this is even though there's no 0 after any of these numbers this is usually representing 10 20 30 40 etc however if you're using larger numbers such as the thousands these, would, these could also represent a thousand, or a million, or ten thousand, or any number like that. You just need to know where to place your decimal so that your measurements are accurate. Or, not measurements, but your um, values are accurate. So, we're multiplying five times, uh, five times seven. So there's the five. Now we go over here on B scale, we find seven. And that halfway between 3, 30, and 40 is 35. As we know, 30, I mean 5 times 7, sorry, is 35. And that's all you need to know for multiplying on a slide rule like this one. There are also circular slide rules, but I'm not sure how to use those. They are fairly similar, though. Well, I'll see you next time when I do division. Have a nice day.